Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Akis. In this video, we can talk about floating action buttons in React.js Material UI. So the short form is FAB. So basically, this is a kind of button, but the look and feel is somewhat really interesting. Okay. So if you are creating any site, if you are mainly focusing on the designing area, we can use this FAB controls. Okay. So in this FAB controls, we can use the icons and also it's having two different variants. We can change the size and the color. Okay. So anyway, let me start the implementation. Then you will get some better idea. For the implementation point of view, first let me create one component. So this is the common stuff we are following in this series. So let me provide the name is floating button. We can use this stateless functional component option. So here we can include on box control. Now I am going to include my first FUB control. Okay. So this one also belongs to our material UI. And the color let me provide primary. So inside that I am going to include on icon. Material UI icon material. First, we can include for the add, okay? So, let me format this one. Okay, I just added this component, but I'm not included in our routing side. So, in this app.js file, after this table route, so let me include FAB and also we need to map our component floating button. See, look at the button. So the color I have provided as the primary, so that should it is coming as the blue color. So let me include two more buttons. So instead of the primary, let me include secondary and the third one we can give success. So let me save this one. Let me include some margin here. So in this box we can apply using this SX property. Okay. Now it is somewhat fine. And let me include two more colors. So these are the inbuilt colors only. One is error and another one is warning. And in this title also, let me provide FAB with a different color. Okay. So next we can include the different icons. For doing this one, let me copy the whole section. Now I'm going to include the different icons. So already we have included this add icon. So similarly, I'm going to include four more icons. The second one, let me provide edit. Then navigate, then favorite, then arrow. So in this icon point of view, this is up icon for the favorite the icon name is favorite icon, navigate icon, and this one is edit icon. So let me save this one. Okay, there is no error. So let me change the icons one by one. Edit icon added. The favorite icon included. Navigate icon. So let me save this one. See the response now. All are showing the different icons, right? So we can exchange between these two. 
so this is fine so similarly we can include different icons for our floating action buttons so the next let me explain the variants so in this fab uh, we have two types of variant the first one is circle and another one is the extended so the circle is the default one so if you want to have this extended we have to change it manually so let me copy the whole box section we can provide the name is variant okay so if you are checking now we can see two options one is the circular and another one is the extended so let me use this extended option so let me copy this one we can include for all the buttons see the response now it should be like this so if you are creating any action button with the icon and also if you want to provide some names we can use this extended variant okay so let me provide some namings add edit see the response now see it should be like this so similarly i will include the text for all the controls okay this should be like this so as of now uh, we have covered with this icons and also we have seen this variance and the color finally we can see this size option okay so basically we have three inbuilt size the first one is small then medium and another one is the large so the defaultly what value we are seeing that is the large only so if you want to uh, reduce the size we can use the small and medium so let me show you we can copy this icon item let me provide size medium okay and i'm just adding this size so let me copy and use for other controls also i mean other buttons this is the medium one similarly we can use the small also so instead of the medium let me provide small see now the difference okay this is fine so the first row we are seeing the different colors the second row we are seeing the different icons then the size point of view medium small so finally we are able to see this variance also okay so now we are in the end of the video in my next video we can see one of the interesting component in react js metd UI. still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching